So, the entire internet is exploding over OpenAI's new model, Sora 2. The results are mind-blowing. But let's be honest, there are two huge problems. First, getting access is almost impossible. You need an invite code, and it's getting harder and harder to get one. I have a solution for that, which I'll tell you about later. And second, even if you are lucky enough to get in, the limits are shrinking. It started as unlimited, then it dropped to 100 generations, and now it's down to just 30. And on top of that, it has some really awful watermarks. But don't worry, the one I'm showing you today has none. Let's be real, OpenAI is not going to keep this free forever. Today, I'm bringing you the solution, the one you need for when Sora 2 hits its usage limit, or for when it inevitably becomes a fully paid tool. And you know I don't like to lie to you, this tool is not as powerful as Sora 2, but it is the free and unlimited substitute that you need in your arsenal. In this video, we're doing a deep dive on the new, free, and unlimited AI generator for video, images, and text from Meta. The direct and secure link to this tool is waiting for you in our Discord. And yes, our Malva AI Discord is now open. This is our new headquarters. We have all sorts of things for AI lovers. We have channels where the community constantly shares Sora 2 codes, links to the best free AIs, and prompts for you to copy and paste, including the ones we'll use in today's video. It's where I post all the links, the most powerful prompts, and where our most dedicated members get free rewards just for supporting the channel. And most importantly, we have something very useful in our Discord. For several weeks, we've been creating our series of PDF volumes for those who want to become AI experts without spending money. A private PDF with my list of the best free AI tools and secrets to get the maximum potential, which I have never shown on this channel, exclusively for the true supporters of our community. Every few days, we release a new volume with more useful information. You can collect them all very easily. Simply like this video, subscribe, leave a positive comment, and watch the full video. Take a screenshot showing you've completed the steps, share it in the Discord, and that's it. In a totally free, legal, and safe way, you'll start getting the PDFs that we've created for our community. The link to join the Discord is in the description. Don't wait. We'll start in new chat. I ask Meta to create a video of a car in a futuristic city. When we hit create, it first generates four vertical images. Important, this section is only for creating vertical content, perfect for shorts, reels, and TikTok. Later, I'll show you how to make horizontal images and videos for YouTube. From these four vertical images, we pick the one that best matches what we want. If we use a detailed prompt, we'll usually get something close on the first try. But if not, no problem. We just pick and refine. On the right panel, we can edit the image, add or change details, restyle it using presets like robot, anime, 3D illustration, low poly, art deco, and more. Or open the browser for extra options if we want a different mood. Once we're happy with the result, we hit animate. There's no preview step here. The image we select is the one that gets animated directly. In a few seconds, Meta generates a smooth, clean, vertical video based on our chosen still. And here's the cool part. Look to the right. We can extend the video as many times as we want. I extended mine several times and turned a short clip into a 13 second video. And I could keep going if I needed a longer sequence for storytelling or a viral short. You can also restyle the video afterward with looks like video game, desert rave, robot, anime, and many more. And even add music tracks. When it's ready, just tap the paper plane icon at the top right, scroll to download, and save it instantly, completely free and without any watermark. Now, what if we want to work in horizontal for YouTube or cinematic projects? That's where Create comes in. We go to Create, choose Image, set the aspect ratio to 16 to 9, and paste our prompt. I reused the futuristic car example, and Meta generated four ultra-detailed horizontal images in seconds. We pick our favorite, adjust it if needed, and hit Animate. And now we have a horizontal video ready to go. And this is just the beginning. From here, I'm going to show you several real examples so you can get ideas to create your own viral videos and also see how consistent the workflow is. Let's start with something simple but visually striking. 
In new chat, I wrote a detailed prompt for a giant mecha robot emerging from the ocean at sunset. I focused on the atmosphere and lighting, mentioning glowing reflections on the water and cinematic backlight, but I didn't overcomplicate it. Meta generated four vertical images instantly, and I picked the one that best captured that epic golden hour vibe. Then I simply hit animate. A few seconds later, I had a clean vertical animation. The camera slowly pulls back as the waves move around the robot. It looks incredible, and I didn't touch any external editor. Next, I wanted to try something more stylized. I prompted anime-style character with flowing white hair, standing on a cliff with a stormy sky, adding some direction about wind, mood, and perspective. Again, I got four images, picked my favorite, and animated it. This time, the AI gave the animation a subtle wind effect and dynamic lighting perfect for an anime intro clip or a dramatic TikTok. Now let's switch to horizontal content for YouTube or cinematic edits. I moved to create, selected image, set the aspect ratio to 16 to 9, and use the prompt for a cyberpunk city skyline at night with neon lights, flying cars, and rain. I kept the prompt focused on atmosphere, lighting, and composition. The result? Four stunning widescreen images, like straight out of a science fiction movie. I picked one, hit animate, and got a smooth horizontal clip. Perfect for a background in a long video, or even a short film intro. For the next example, I wanted to modify before animating. I took one of the generated cyberpunk images, went to create, uploaded it, and told Meta to keep everything the same but make the main car bright red, and add holographic billboards in the background. It instantly produced several variants with exactly those changes. I picked the best one and animated it. And the result looked like a completely custom shot, but it took less than a minute to make. Let's do one more to show how far you can push this. I generated a fantasy landscape, a floating castle surrounded by waterfalls and clouds. I emphasized depth, mist, and vibrant light in the prompt. Once I got the images, I chose the most dramatic one, restyled it in a painterly art deco aesthetic, and animated that version. The animation feels like a moving concept art painting, exactly the kind of thing that can go viral as a short, or loop seamlessly in a longer edit. And to finish this batch of demos, I uploaded one of my own images, not generated by Meta, and used Create to modify it. I asked it to add a futuristic holographic interface overlay, like something from a sci-fi film. It worked perfectly, giving me multiple variants to choose from. I picked my favorite and animated it, proving that you can bring in your own assets and still use Meta's engine to stylize and animate them. As you've just seen, the possibilities with Meta's free AI are insane. You can generate jaw-dropping images, turn them into smooth animations, restyle entire scenes, extend clips endlessly, and even bring in your own assets to transform them, all without watermarks, credit limits, or complicated workflows. This tool gives you everything you need to build vertical content for shorts and TikToks, cinematic horizontal shots for YouTube, or even entire storytelling sequences, all inside a single platform. And the best part? It's completely free and available right now. Whether you're a creator, a filmmaker, or just someone experimenting with AI for the first time, this is the perfect playground to bring your ideas to life. So don't just watch. Take what you've learned here, start experimenting, and create something that stands out. And remember, the link to our Melva AI Discord is in the description. That's where you'll find all the prompts from today's video, step-by-step -step breakdowns, and early access to our upcoming Sora 2 Masterclass. Join the community, grab the resources, and let's push your creativity even further. Thanks for watching.